Hi, Luke Evans. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Yeah, really good. How are you? I'm really good. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on this film. I've seen it. Have you? I have. I've seen it uh, twice, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Showing off now. Yeah, you are, yeah. Um, a great role as well and a great thriller and just great cast. Oh, phenomenal cast. Um, yeah, it's really good to be part of it. And uh, we only shot it like in December. I mean, it feels like it was yesterday. But uh, no, it's great. And it's a very unconventional thriller. It's... Uh, it has a very interesting protagonist, leading lady, who you sort of don't really like that much when you first meet her. She's a big old alcoholic. Um, but through this story, it develops, and she sees these couples on this train, and she gets it wrong, and then she makes a huge mess. And uh, yeah, it unravels into a very complex, I think Tate's called it a Rubik's Cube of thrillers, which I like that, and I'm going to steal that. Have it. You should have that. I'm stealing. Yeah. yeah. But it does. It's like there's not many times you can go and watch it. I haven't read the book. Had you read the book before you... Uh, no. No, I'd read the script, and then I went and read the, the book. Yeah. You kept guessing. You know, as, as a film fan, you kind of... Not many times you can go to the cinema and not know what, you know, it's still unraveling right, right to the end. Right, exactly, and that's a good book. And the book does it, and I think the film does it very well too. Yeah. What, what's it like working with Tate? Because he's, I find him fascinating. I love what he's done, mm. you know, in previous films and this one obviously as well. He's a wonderful man. He's actually very fun to be on the film set with. Uh, he has a very nice sensibility about him and he understands how actors tick you know um, and that's a good thing he doesn't force you into an idea he lets you work it out and develop it yourself and um, yeah and uh, it was great I enjoyed every minute working with him yeah how would you describe Scott I feel very sorry for Scott I do too he's a I just feel very sorry for him poor boy I mean one minute he loses his wife, she goes missing, then she's been murdered. And Thinks he's I mean, found a new friend. On and on and on. No, no spoiler alerts, yeah. you know, but he hasn't got a, he's got a bit of a rough deal. And, um, and he's, he's a good egg, really. He's a good egg and everybody thinks he's a bad egg. You know, it's not fair. Um, it's just like me, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. Big house, like having the yeah, it's like that. Yeah, he's living the dream. Living the dream. He's got a lovely house. Yeah. 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 House envy, watching that. Um, does it still kind of tickle you when you come here and see this turnout for your films and and these wonderful projects that you're involved in? Um, it's to be honest with you, like I'm from South Wales and I was home like last week with my family, just being the sun and and like you come here and you're like. Bloody hell, it's Leicester Square. It's, it's, it never, ever gets boring, ever. And um, yeah, I'm lucky to do what I do. And something like this comes along and, you know, just get on that train. And, you know, you... Just mind the gap, look. Mind <laughs> the... I'm going to do I'm here all night. <laughs> Listen, I'll let you go and enjoy tonight. Right, it's great you. to chat to you. Thank you very much. Thank the you. wonderful Luke Evans, everyone. Thanks. Wave to them. They love you. I was like,